All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how you can set up a little gallery image section on your server where you can share things like pictures, recipes, really whatever you want, where you can categorize them based upon tags that you predetermine, like this recipe channel, which is pre-set up with things like recipes that are for like sweet desserts or sour flavors or bitter, salty umami, or this whole big old list of different types of food recipes that you could want. And then when you click on them, we'll automatically sort them based upon posts that are tagged by different users for that particular type of post. And this is like called like a forum on Discord. You can set up like a forum with this. I like to think of it more of like a gallery because it's a really nice gallery view, but you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to set up a new one here on my server to replace the food and recipes channel where I already have a lot of postings of different foods that I and some of the users here either make or like the look of. So to make a, a new channel like this, I'm going to go to my server, my Chupacabra's Lair server. I'm going to go to the section or the category where I want to make this channel, and I'm going to click on the plus symbol here. I'm going to hover over general stuff and click on the plus symbol, and that's going to allow me to create a new channel. And what we want to create is a forum. I should mention that I believe the forum is still locked off to servers that are set up as a community server, but those are pretty easy to set up, and I will cover that in another tutorial. So we're going to select a forum. So we'll just click that and we're going to call this the food gallery. And then I will click on create channel. I'm going to stick that down here. I'll add like emojis to it in a moment, but for right now it's right here, the food gallery. And uh, what we're going to do first, I have to set up the rules and everything. It's got a five step process here. First you create the channel. Then you make the guidelines for the post, the rules that people have to abide by when they're adding different stuff. You have to create the tags that you want to use. And then uh, you can set up a default reaction for the post so people can decide if they like it or not by clicking a reaction. And then you have to make the first post. So let's go ahead and create the food gallery guidelines. A place to post all of your favorite creations food related and recipes that you find either IRL or on the web. Feel free to share your latest creations or just anything that you think looks delicious. Sharing recipes is encouraged, but not required. And then that'll be a good little setup for the guidelines for posts. Um, for tags, let's start creating some tags. So let's start with like dinner. Actually, let's just start from the meeting breakfast. And then we have a whole bunch of tags down at the bottom here under food. And everyone knows that eggs are for breakfast. If I can find them in this cacophony. Let's just look up eggs is a fried egg. And then we can create another tag. We'll call this lunch. What other food do you think re represents lunch? Like what sort of things like sandwiches or I don't know, maybe something quick and easy to make that you can do on the go. Oh, here's a burger. Burger counts as lunch, right? And then we can save that. Oh, it's not saving my tags. Did it want me to save that I've completed the post guidelines? It might. Normally it'll let me start creating these tags. Let's try this again. Breakfast. And then we'll do eggs for breakfast as you do. Okay, so first I had to save changes to the post guideline before we let me do the next step. I can't just skip ahead. Funny thing about that. So we'll do breakfast, then we'll do lunch. And we'll make this a burger because, well, it's a burger for lunch. And we'll save that. And then we'll do dinner. 
umami, which is sort of like the flavor you get from fatty foods, kind of hits all the flavor receptors on your tongue. We could say if it's a recipe, let's do it like a list. Paper? Do they have paper? Yes, they have paper. We could do a recipe. Or looks yummy. Just for whatever people think looks delicious, they can just say, you know what, that just looks amazing. And I just felt like posting it for fun. What just kind of looks like a good general purpose? Ah, the croissant. Perfect. And so there's our tags. And then for if you think something looks delicious, let's go to the faces. And which one of these tongue ones looks like you just had like the most tasty thing of your life? Probably this one. So that's just like the default. It looks delicious reaction that people can give. And here it basically shows you that in the post in the bottom corner near the tags, you'll have a reaction. You can click it to add your reaction like, yeah, I like that. You can do slow mode settings here if you want, how often people uh, can post. So you make them wait five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, 10 minutes, six hours. But I don't personally like using slow mode. I don't really generally moderate servers large enough to validate that, but that's fine. Uh, then you can select how many uh, messages per interval someone can post under that too. Um, I like the gallery view personally for my layout. You can do the list view if you want, but I like gallery view because I think visuals are really important, especially for something as tasty as food. Because the first bite you take of food, as they say, is with your eyes. You can set if this is a not safe for work channel or not. Uh, it's not. It's just food. We don't really do not safe for work in my public channel. And then hide inactivity after a week. So basically, if someone posts something and you've seen it and no one has said anything new on that post, it will disappear after about a week. So let's create a new post and let me get a picture here. I'm just going to type in delicious food and see what pops up. Ah, a delicious burger picture. Perfect. So let's create a new post and let's say brand new food sharing channel for 2024 because it's time to refresh things. And then let's just say this is a recipe. So that's selected. And then this will be a dinner post because this is a burger. Decided it's time to revamp some of the server for 2024, starting with a brand new gallery so everyone can share their favorite recipes, creations, and foods that they think are just delicious. And I needed a good example for a tutorial on how to create one of these forums. And then I will click post and then boom, the new food gallery is available. And then I will retire this one here by dragging it down to the administration zone. So now the food and the recipes channel has been retired down in the other archived files. And now we have a new food gallery. So it's going to be fancy now that it's all said and done. So now when people post, they'll show up here as a post in the gallery form. Anyone can post in here for the most part, although I will come in and make sure that they are actually posting things correctly and not just putting junk in here. Uh, so that's basically it. And then you can click on these either from in here, and then you can see the stuff that people have said in this little sidebar and you can make posts, or you can click on them directly down here and then they just behave like any old channel once you click down here into these different sections.
So I can react to this, and I can also add another reaction, like corn, if I want to. So that's basically a basic look at how to moderate, or not moderate, but to create these forums. If you want to moderate them, all you have to do is click on it, right click it, and be like, I'm gonna delete this post because it's inappropriate. Or you can pin it so it's always there. You can lock it so that people can read it, but they can't interact with it anymore. Or you can unfollow it if you don't want it to show up in this little list over here anymore. Because normally when you go in here and you follow a post, it'll show up in the sidebar on the left-hand side so you can interact with it directly. But if you don't want it to show up here, this is getting kind of cluttered, you can then right-click it and be like, I don't want to follow this anymore. And it'll go away. Otherwise, it'll time out in a week, which is what I set the timeout period to be. But you can set the timeout from one day to a week. So, there you go. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's any questions on things I didn't cover, because there's a few side settings that are not always super useful or important about these channels, I'd be more than happy to answer those in the comment section below. So that'll be it for this one. Have a good one, everybody, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.